Hello, and welcome to our lesson on the interior angles of polygons. So every polygon can be broken up into a number of interior triangles. So in this quadrilateral, we have two triangles. We have one here with a total of 180 degrees. And again, in the second triangle. So because we have two triangles in a quadrilateral, the sum of the interior angles inside the quadrilateral is two lots of 180, which is 360 degrees. We can use this fact to work out angle A, because we know 120 plus V84 plus the 2A here plus the angle A here is equal to the total of the interior angles, which is 360 degrees. 120 at 84 is 204, plus 2A at A, which is 3A, is equal to 360. We can take away 204 from both sides, so these will cancel. So 3A will equal 156 degrees, you can divide both sides by 3 and A is equal to 52 degrees. OK, let's try the hexagon. Within our hexagon, we have one, two, three, four triangles, which is four lots of 180. So the total interior angles of a hexagon is 720 degrees. And because this is a regular hexagon, we know all the interior angles are equal. So we can work out one of them as 720 divided by 6, which is 120. So this angle is 120 degrees. We can use this fact to see that the interior and the exterior angles of a polygon lie along a straight line because you can see the interior plus the exterior add up to make 180 degrees. Okay, let's try a couple more questions. So do you want to try and work out the size of angle E and angle F by a part of the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for angle E, we have one, two, three, four lots of 180. So the total of the interior angles is 720 degrees. So when we add up all six interior angles, we have a sum of 720 degrees. We can simplify this sum as E plus 637 is equal to 720. Take away 637 from both sides and angle E will equal 83 degrees. And finally, for our octagon, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 lots of 180. So the total interior angles is 1080. Because it's regular, all the angles are the same. So we have 8 lots of F is equal to 1080. Divide both sides by 8. And angle F is 135 degrees. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.